been a violent week in Cincinnati. In the past seven days, there have been 13 shootings, 17 people shot, including children shot in broad daylight and one person killed. I want to thank you for joining us tonight at 6 o'clock. I'm Craig McKee. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. So what is the city doing to stop the violence? I sat down today with the mayor to hear his plan. We're at the begin very beginning of summer and already shootings are up dramatically. What can a mayor do to prevent this from continuing to spiral out of control? Here at City Hall, our top three priorities are public safety, public safety, public safety. At least 33 kids have been shot so far this year. That's the highest in 15 years, and it happens to land on your watch. Yeah. That cannot make you happy. It makes me angry. It's devastating. It's heartbreaking. You know, violence at, in any instance in our city is is unimaginable and cannot happen. But what is most tragic is the amount of kids that are now involved in shootings. And even more tragic, how many of the perpetrators of violence themselves are kids. Police I spoke to say judges are letting some of those juveniles back on the streets. The mayor tells me he wants to give juveniles a chance at redemption, but that violent crime can't be tolerated. Are you saying if there's a child who is violent, has proclivities to violence, is shown themselves to be carrying guns, that type of thing. You want them held? If Yes, if you are engaged in violent crime, you should be held responsible. No, held in jail or some other, some, some type of program that does not allow them to go out if, into if public. If you are a violent criminal, you should be held responsible. If, if, that, if, if that means being held or being put in some kind of a program, that's fine. But at the end of the day, from my perspective as mayor, I cannot have violent people on the streets continuing to perpetuate violence. The mayor says City Hall is beefing up the police department. And while he wouldn't give specific numbers, he says the city is. We're doing everything we can to provide more resources to the police where they need it via overtime, uh, via recruit classes, via bonuses, to make sure they have the resources they need to intervene and mitigate the violence. But again, Chief Fiji will tell you that law enforcement alone cannot prevent this from happening, which is why we're also increasing funding for these social services, for these programmatic uh, opportunities to interrupt the violence as well. According to the mayor, those social services will get a combined $3.1 million for crime prevention programming, jobs, and crime mitigation. But in order to prevent this violence from spiraling, we need a commitment, not just from law enforcement, not just from our social services and, and city hall, but truly from everyone, the entire community. If they know violence is going to happen, they have to let us know. You heard the mayor say public safety is its first, second and third priority. So what about city council to take a look at all the issues that council is working on now and how many actually deal with public safety? We have a link to that on WCPO.com right now.